Uh, congratulations on your Oscar nomination as oh, well, yeah, which I'll ask exciting. you, ask yeah. you about in due wow. course. Um, let me start by asking, I mean, how long ago did this script come across your desk and what was it about this story that kind of spoke to you as a producer? Well, I actually uh, did a lot of reading. I saw a documentary. I didn't know anything about Donald Crowhurst, but the more I read, the more... Um, profoundly excited I was by this character. I mean, I thought it was incredible. Um, and so we started developing it, Graham Broadbent and Blueprint started developing it, and Scott Burns, who's a fantastic American screenwriter, uh, responded to it. And we worked out with the director, so we had a script, and then we worked out with the director what, trying to make it a fair and honest telling of a story where nobody really knows what happened on the high seas 50 years ago. So. It's a, it's a story about the power of dreams and um, pursuing your goals, which I kind of love. Yeah, absolutely, because that's the, I mean, at the beginning of the movie, you know, you, you, you really want him to succeed. And as it goes on, he kind of descends into a bit of madness and feels like, you know, the, the journey might not be, might not have a happy ending. Did you think when you watched it, did you think that you, that he was setting himself up for, I mean, did you, did you think that he was going to succeed or how, because we, we wanted to, make people believe because I think he did really well that he might have done it and actually with a few little things either side he probably could have done it absolutely I mean that was something I would, I would say that you do for most of the movie you think you want him to succeed but also yeah. you think he is going to succeed and yeah. obviously it, it kind of goes away but I mean it's a, yeah. a really powerful story to say about dreams yeah. and everything else yeah. and how about no matter how misguided they might be you still want to pursue them absolutely um, and what was it about Colin that kind of made him perfect for, for the role for us? I think he's sort of he's a terrific actor he brings a lot of um Gravitas, and I think he's capable of getting. You know, at the beginning, he's slightly a sort of lighter. He's a, a sort of a charming Englishman. Now, I think Collins played that a lot of times. He's a charming Englishman in real life as well. But I think for him and for us, it was a chance for him to explore a sort of a deeper, more thoughtful, more troubled character. And again, his journey from the beginning to the end is quite. Uh, it's got quite some distance to go, so I think it's, it's good fodder for an actor, and I think he absolutely nails it. Absolutely, and also, I mean, it's a story of Donald Crowhurst, but also Rachel's character is his wife, she has her own story, has to yeah. deal with him being away and everything else. I mean, what was it about her as an actress that you immediately feel right, she's, she's really one for this one? Because I, th I think she can do anything, I really do. I mean, I think, you know, the, the um, she makes the part of, of Crowhurst's wife more than that. I think they're very, sort of equal footing. So that when you're watching, I don't know about you, but when I watch Colin on the boat, I'm thinking about what's happening with Rachel at home. And when I'm watching Rachel, I'm thinking about Colin and what's going on in his head and his world. And that's pretty amazing. And I don't think also that they've been on screen together before, which helps as well. So a little bit of a uh, little bit of something else. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, also, I mean, congratulations on the Oscar, as I said before, three billboards. I mean, it's taken uh, a lot of people by storm, won loads of awards. Yeah. I mean, are you ready for, for Oscar night? You know, there's, it's a very open field this year in terms of best picture and everything it's else. A, it's brand new for us. I just came, actually. I left yesterday. We had the Oscar nominees lunch um, in Beverly Hills. And my partner, Graham Broadbent, and I were like, you've got to enjoy it because this sort of stuff never happens, you know. Are you, so, are you confident or are you just looking forward to being I'm just going so to have you know I, I think that's the thing it's yeah. like you go and just experience it it's sort of once in a lifetime type yeah. thing uh, so we'll see well, we ladies and gentlemen you're watching hey you guys hey you guys huh hey you guys, is that yeah. from the goonies it is indeed, yeah. nice hey, hey.